You can find multiple articles on the internet that explain how treating your dog like a child drives it crazy. We are constantly being bombarded by the message that dogs are equal to children, even better than children, actually, uh, and that you know, we should be treating them like children. <laughs> and so people are. They are humanizing their dogs. They are infantilizing them. And this is making dogs go crazy. Professional dog trainers will tell you this. It's all over the internet. Treating them like children drives them nuts. And so what are people doing when their dogs are ripping up, destroying their property, uh, pooping, peeing all over the house, barking incessantly, attacking people, showing aggression? Well, they are rushing out to the veterinarian to purchase psychiatric medications to deal with the dog's behavioral problems. And forget about humanizing dogs for a second. Just take into consideration the fact that dogs are pack animals. They go crazy when you leave them alone for hours at a time. Naturally, they are not meant to be alone. They go nuts when you leave them alone. And this has nothing to do with infantilizing them. It's just their nature. They're pack animals. So they will bark all day long. They will show all these symptoms of separation anxiety because they're not meant to be left alone in a crate all day. So anyway, this article was printed a while ago, back in 2012. I found this, this has been going on for a long time. Psychiatric medications are being prescribed to dogs to treat a variety of conditions and behaviors usually found in humans. In 2011, Americans spent nearly $7 billion on pills for their pets and sales growth was dramatic uh, and it continues to grow. So in this article, they gave examples of dogs that were compulsively chasing their hind legs that were prescribed two different psychiatric medications. Another dog with anxiety was prescribed three different psychiatric medications. Another dog that was attacking people was prescribed Prozac. Uh, <laughs> ridiculous. And the veterinarian was, was saying that people want, they really want medicine for their dogs, even if the veterinarian says, oh, I don't think it's going to help. They still ask for it. I think this has to do with American culture. I thought it was really creepy when I visited America and I would see these uh, drug commercials on TV, which you don't see in Canada. Commercials aimed toward a ignorant, dumb public that don't know. Like It's like they're selling them pizza pockets, these powerful prescription drugs with ridiculous side effects, selling them like like a like a quick fix instead of telling people to uh per, to do things to prevent these illnesses like maybe modify their diets or exercise a bit more no here just go buy this pill this quick fix it's like a huge money making racket and it's just really creepy because you don't see this in other countries through advertising americans are conditioned to believe that prescription medications are a quick fix to their problems. And this is now extending to their pets. This is a big reason why the message that getting a dog is a great thing to do is shoved down our throats so aggressively now. This is why dogs are placed in ads, this product placement, which I'm going to talk about in my next video uh, about pet industry propaganda. We are being aggressively fed this idea that we need to go out and get a dog, even though the evidence that therapy animals can help treat people with psychiatric issues is patchy, which I've discussed in previous videos. You see emotional support animals everywhere because we are being fed this idea that getting a dog is going to help us with our stress, with our anxiety and depression, when in many cases, most cases, I would say, it's, it's the opposite. These animals bring even more stress into our lives. These people who promote this idea don't give a shit about you. They don't even give a shit about animals. They just want your money. And pet ownership is raking in a shit ton of money. This product placement in ads is working. 8% uh, of dog owners were giving their pets medications for anxiety, calming, or mood purposes. And this was a couple of years ago. Uh, and these figures suggest that millions of animals in the United States are taking psychiatric medications. Uh, 
this is no small potatoes here. This is a lot of money. Uh, and so they are promoting this as uh, the most benign of all terrible things that people could do to animals when they don't like the animal's behavior. Uh, and uh, it's becoming more popular. It's seen as less harmful than using shock collars and stuff like that. Uh, they're saying it's not entirely clear how these medications are used to truly care for pets. Uh, so how beneficial is it for the pet? Hmm, that's unclear. There is an over-reliance on psychopharmaceuticals to help animals adapt to situations in which they do not belong, such as a dog being left at home in a crate all day. Now, this is interesting. There is at least some published evidence to support treating pets with psychiatric drugs, but several of these studies received some funding from the pharmaceutical companies marketing these drugs to veterinarians and pet owners. So how can you trust these studies? You can't. It's ridiculous. They're biased. Now, giving these kinds of drugs to pets is not risk-free, just like just as with humans, psychiatric medications for pets can and do carry plenty of side effects, which you have to go and treat in some cases with more drugs, which cost more money. The overlapping use of psychiatric medications among humans and animals also raises the specter of owners sharing drugs with their pets. Guys, this is very important, so listen up. Veterinarians have voiced concerns about owners using pets to obtain access to restricted drugs including anti-pain opioids and anti-anxiety benzodiazepines. In other words, drugs that are difficult or impossible to obtain from your doctor, because doctors are reluctant to write out prescriptions for these medications, or they just plain won't anymore, uh, because uh, yeah, these drugs are known to be highly addictive. Um, they're using their dogs to get these medications because veterinarians have no problem prescribing these medications to dogs. Valium is a commonly used medication in dogs. So if veterinarians are voicing concern, we can be sure that a large number of dog owners are taking their dogs prescription medicines. Not only taking them, but we can also be sure that they are selling them because there is a huge market for drugs like Valium and opioids, which are almost impossible to acquire from your doctor nowadays. You can get them for your dog, then you can sell them and you can make some decent money doing so. I would think I'm not a drug dealer, but I know these drugs are in demand. And so you can be sure that a lot of these people that own dogs are using their dogs to make money by selling their dogs prescription medication. We need to keep this in mind when we see how dog ownership has become so popular. I'm looking around so I'm giving people the side eye. Like, are you a drug dealer? Like, honestly, it is an epidemic and we need to be aware of this. People are giving Ritalin to their dogs. Ritalin is, an, is also a drug I've heard drug addicts use and purchase, uh, you know, on the street. So get it for your dog. You can sell it, make some cash on the side, um, you know. It's increasingly being used by dogs. It's becoming so popular. It's like, I don't know. I don't think a lot of people are aware of this. So I just had to make this video. I think it's very eye-opening. You can go online and read for yourself. There are so many articles that talk about how popular psychiatric drugs are. With dogs nowadays, I think it's a travesty. I think that people, uh, first of all, are driving their dogs crazy just by keeping them as pets. Dogs are not meant to be cooped up in a house. They don't want to live the way we force them to live, trapped in a house. That's why dogs are escaping all the time. That's why they're constantly running away. Um, that's why I, I, you know, in my video about when dogs run away from their owners, you see it's an epidemic. Dogs are constantly running away from their owners. Why? Because they do not want to live the miserable life you are imposing on them. 
They do not want to be stuck in your backyard. They do not want to be cooped up in a crate all day. They do not want to be alone all day. They are dogs. They are not humans. They are dogs and they want to engage in natural canine behaviors. They want to roam. They want to be part of a pack of dogs. They want to scavenge. They want to attack. They want to engage in predatory behaviors. They want to stalk prey. They want to behave like dogs. They want to mate. They want to do dog things with dogs in a pack because that is their nature. That is what their instincts are telling them to do. And we are imposing a very unnatural existence upon them, which is driving them crazy. Even if you don't dress your dog up in costumes or push it around in a stroller, the dog is still not happy living in a human world because it is not a human. I, you know, as a dog hater, I actually have more respect and love for dogs. And I know this sounds crazy, but it's true. I have more love for dogs than dog worshippers do because I, I see the dog for what it is. I recognize it for what it is. I respect the fact that it is a dog. And I think that keeping dogs trapped in a human environment is cruel. It's not what they want. It's like if an alien race captured us and brought us aboard their ships or brought us to their alien world and forced us to behave in ways they deemed acceptable, think about how weird it is that we have to bring a dog to obedience school. We don't have to do that with any other pet. You don't have to train a cat to not behave like a cat or an, or train a hamster to not behave like a hamster. Uh, what? It, it's crazy that we have to modify the dog's behavior by cutting off its frickin' reproductive organs, sterilizing it so that its natural hormones won't make it do what it's naturally meant to do. How do people not see how sick and twisted that is, that we're doing this to another species that we claim to love? What if aliens did that to us? Would you think that is love? It sterilized you so that you could better adapt to their civilization, to their culture, you know? And, and, and not behave in your natural ways. That's sick. It is so sick what these dog owners are doing with their dogs. Even if they're not outwardly infantilizing them uh, like some super sick dog worshippers do. Just keeping them in your house is crazy. They don't belong there. They're dogs. Anyway, I just thought that you should be aware of the whole psychiatric medication thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it. And uh, just to let you know, I'm still working on my pet industry propaganda video. Uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of things going on, so I'm doing my best to get that ready for you. Hope you all have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. And remember, the future is dog-free because future generations will look back at this craziness in amazement. They won't believe how crazy people were when it comes to dogs. What we are doing with dogs right now is absolutely mental. And this will become apparent to future generations. See you later, guys.